Let's solve x by squaring both sides. We have left side x equals 3 squared is 9. As for this question here, when we square both sides, we get 4 times 4 is 16. We distribute the squaring here, so 2 squared becomes 4. And the square root of x squared just becomes x. Dividing both sides by 4, we have x equals 16 divided by 4 is 4. Another way of doing this problem is to divide both sides by 2. So we have root x equals 4 divided by 2 is 2. We then square both sides. x equals 4. Next, let's solve x by squaring both sides again. We have x minus 2 equals 3 squared, which is 9. We add 2 to both sides, so we have x equals 9 plus 2, which is 11. Let's try to solve this expression graphically. If you know how to sketch the square root graph, it looks like a curve. However, when you see x plus 4, it means 4 units to the left. So this is what the square root graph looks like. When we're talking about the line equation, y is equals to negative x plus 2, which is the same as this. We have a y-intercept of 2 and a negative slope. Now this square root graph, it goes 1 right, 1 up. It goes 1, 2, 3, 4 right, and 2 up. So when you say there's a slope of negative 1 and a y-intercept of 2, we have a line that looks something like this. It's going to intersect right here. So to solve this x value, I'm guessing 0. x equals 0. Now the problem is, as you draw this graph, you may not be so confident what the exact answer is because Perhaps your drawing is slightly inaccurate. It might be better to use graphing software such as Desmos. So now let's solve x algebraically. Let's square both sides. We have x plus 4, the radical disappears when you square it, is equal to 2 minus x squared. We foil this out, we expand it, it becomes 4 minus. 4x because 2 times negative x is negative 2, double it, plus x squared. And let's throw everything to the right, leaving 0 on the left. So we have x squared. What's negative 4x minus an x? It's negative 5x. And the 4s, by the way, cancels. So how do we solve x? We factor. You can verify that x times x is x squared. x times negative 5 is negative 5x. So therefore, something times something is 0. x might be 0. x might be 5. Now, we have two answers, but we need to verify that our answers are correct. Suppose x is 0, which is what we got previously. This here is your left side of the equal sign, and this here is your right side. Left side, right side. If x equals 0, left side is equal to the square root of 0 plus 4, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. And the right side would be 2 minus 0, which is also 2. Left side equals right side, therefore this is a valid solution. Now suppose x equals 5. Let's verify this is correct. Left side equals the square root of 5 plus 4. This happens to be your x value, which is the square root of 9, which is 3. However, the right side 
is going to be 2 minus x, 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. Left side does not equal to right side, so therefore we reject this extraneous root. So in the previous part of this question, we found that x equals 0 is the only valid solution. So indeed, x does equal 0, but we want to find the point of intersection. We want to find 0, comma the y value. And what is this question mark y value? We can substitute 0 either to this radical equation or this linear equation here. It doesn't really matter where the lines intersect, where the graphs intersect, is your y value. So let's substitute x equals 0 into this line, for example. y equals 2 minus x, which happens to be 0, which is 2. And if you happen to substitute into this curve, this nice radical, we would get y equals 0 plus 4, all square rooted, which is 2. So either way, the y values are tied for both graphs. So the final answer for the coordinates of the point of intersection is 0, 2.